Hey guys, in this video we are gonna talk about states in DP. So let's get started. So first of all, how do we define a state? So state is some condition by which we can define our sub problem such that we get unique answer for each sub problem. Okay? So state is some condition such that we can define our sub problem and we get unique answers for each sub problem okay so this is called state of a dp so let's see some example of states so example examples are in most of the problems the one of the dimension of the state will be the index okay and uh, this is the first example and uh, in some problems we have to define our state as the range l to r okay and in other example we have to combine these two with some other variables okay so these are all states for some problems so let's see our example of knapsack problem So how will we define the state of this problem? So the problem says that we are given a weight W and we are also given some objects such that uh, the values are defined for each objects and uh, their weight is also defined. Now the problem says that we have to find some objects such that sum of values is maximized and the total weight the total weight should be less than or equal to w so the total weight should be less than or equal to w so this is our problem now how do we define state for this problem so first of all let's guess that uh, one of the dimension of our state will be index of the object now we have to check if this gives us unique answer or not so how do we check it we ask our self a question does this give a unique answer or not so let's say we are on this index on the third index and now let's say in the case one we have w1 weight total till now and in the second case we have w2 so in the first case we come to the index 3 and with the total weight of w1 and in the second case we come to third index with total weight of w2 now these two are both belongs to this index now we can see that this is not a unique state so we have to take another variable also and that would be for this question current weight so current when the current weight is defined we can see that this is our unique state for this problem okay so that's it for this video guys and in the next video we are gonna solve a question and in that question we will define our state and we will see transitions and uh, thank you